sitting here like a grinning monkey. <laughs> Hello, I'm Andy, this is In The Shop. I'm with Mr. Chris Barocci. Hey, 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 everyone. Oh, that's a rather nice telly you have there. Well, it's just a telly, you know. It's not like it was mine or something. Mm, you had some nice tones there. We're talking this video about cocked wah. So let's just give everybody a moment to get the word cocked wah out there. Have a moment. Enjoy this one. Mm, that's all you're getting. <laughs> cocked wah, Chris. Uh, how do you do cocked wah? Well, you just search for a really nice, inspiring, weird tone mm -hmm. somewhere on the range of your pedal. And, so, uh, and just pedal, stick to of course. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you need a wah pedal, yeah. And then just stick to that one and just put your foot off and uh, enjoy it. So, so would, you, would you give us some traditional wah sort yeah, of sure, sounds sure. first? So by what you're doing there is you're adjusting the tone and the cue yeah. by moving your foot up and well, down. Well, the cue stays the same, which Sorry. is the, the, I think, well, is the range of the frequencies that get moved around. Okay. And you move around those frequencies from uh, deep frequencies to higher, higher mid-range frequencies with your foot. Yes. So that's what happens. It's a huge mid-kick and you move around the frequencies and that's why it's so radical because mid-range is always the most uh, audible frequency when we're talking extra guitars and it's a very effective way to get heard in a solo, for example, or just funk up a funk song. It's really cool stuff. Yeah. So we're doing this because we made a video about fuzz wah wah fuzz and you loved it so much that we thought we'd include some more wah on the channel. You loved it as much as we did. <laughs> yeah, we had, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> it's so cool, it's so much fun always. Um, so, um, yeah. So we're back with cocked wah. And so what you've done is you've got a guitar, a wah pedal, and an amp set to a yeah. crunchy, crunchy sound, the JVM. That's the amp sound without the pedal, engaged. And what Chris is gonna do is engage the wah pedal and find a position where it sounds good. That's, yeah. it, that's it really, isn't and it? And with good, we always mean weird. Yeah. But weird is good. So kind of kind of nasally sometimes, yeah. you know? Like, yeah, so it's this. Weird, but it's it's you get such uh, harmonic content yeah. out of a cocked wah pedal that it's it's really inspiring, especially if you're playing a little gainy using a fuzz pedal, maybe tons of fuzz, you know. But uh, this is a crunch channel; it's not a fuzz sound right now. But still, you get those those crazy overtones. So let's uh, search for a good frequency. Well, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, it's like, it doesn't matter what you do, it will sound it, cool It was almost as ways. if I did nothing then. <laughs> right, I mean, it's so cool. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. Just have a little moment where I can express how much I love the wah pedal. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's, oh, it's one of those um, effects that, I mean, what, if, for those of you who haven't used a wah pedal yet, you're getting more tone, I guess, more high frequencies through yeah. as the toe gets pushed down. Yeah. And you're making it sort of more as you bring heel the down. heel down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's the scientific term of explaining it. <laughs> as the, always. As always. We're very scientific here on <laughs> Tellman's Guitars and Basses. <laughs> what else did you expect? Did you expect, did you expect <laughs> words? I mean, <laughs> random words and loud guitar sounds. Yeah. It's sort of <laughs> versus There you go. Which I believe was the beginning of uh, dubstep. Well. Anyway, <laughs> there are some artists who have used this on recordings in the past. 
So we've got um, Brian May as one of my favorite favoritists. Favoritists. And who else were we talking about? Well, Mark Knopfler is my favorite dude playing finger picking stuff and um, you know, also the guitars that all sound like Mark Knopfler. Doesn't yeah. matter if he plays hamburger guitars, strats, whatever. It's like him and his sound with the cockwa or without, it's it's something unique. So yeah. that's that's my choice of uh, player who used very famously a cockwa. All right, well, I'm going to go for Brian May. Okay, yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah, you know, take your Mark Knopfler. <laughs> white. So, any tips for cockwa? So it's kind of nothing to do with, with rhythm. No, not at all. Just is it search just for finding somewhere in the middle? Just go for somewhere in the middle and start fooling around. And if you find it too subtle, too dark. Just open it up a little bit more, like toe down a little bit more, and um, it's, uh, no rules again. You know, mm -hmm. If you if you find it most awesome, I kind of found it um, in this position, heel down, sort of like like a really dark Octavia mm -hmm. effect. Like you have those uh, octaves almost jumping out. Chris, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, well, I'd love to know uh, what sort of kakwa combinations, you know, pedals, wah pedals, amp sounds, whatever you prefer, because uh, it's sort of new for me. I, of course, own the wah pedal, like, all through my playing time and everything, but I didn't experiment too much with it. And if you have a cool tip for us, give it to me, give it to me. Okay, so may I say goodbye now? Yeah. Okay, thanks. I've been Andy Ferris. <laughs> and I'm Chris Palacio. Bye! Thanks for watching. Not doing this time. <laughs>